Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now today, it really is all about the latest tech here in China, as today was the official release date for the OnePlus 6T, and I picked up the 8GB, 128GB variant in Midnight Black. Now there is also the 6GB, 128GB variant, and the higher 8GB, 256GB variant. There is no more 64GB ROM version. Thankfully, OnePlus have kept the lower-end budget version version, the same price as the 64 gig before it, so that's a bonus. This will be my full unboxing video of this phone, and I've had a sh** of phones in the past few years, and this is actually my first OnePlus device. Now, bundled with this guy over here, I have a little bit of a treat for you guys at the end of the video. OnePlus have sent me something else, just a little token on top for me to share with you guys at the end of the video. So stick around if you want that. Hit subscribe down below if you haven't already to see my full review, which should be posted and go live next week. So without further ado guys, let's go. This is the T variant of OnePlus, and T is more of an iterative upgrade. Fingerprint sensor that stayed on the back for the 6 has now moved under the screen of the 6T. The screen has gotten bigger. It's gotten to 6.41 inches, um, thanks to their wonderful teardrop notch style adopted from the sister company Oppo with their R17 and the cameras are the same even the colors are the same they have a bigger battery so that's a bonus still no wireless charging though uh, even though there's that glass back there is also no headphone jack which is a bummer for most of you guys fortunately for me I never use wired headphones that's why I just ugh, no wireless guys move on with your lives OnePlus are doing it do it let's open this guy up thing that you will notice is that there is an image right here that indicates that this phone unlocks with an under display fingerprint sensor. I think that this is definitely a great implementation of the fingerprint sensor. You have this wonderful clean back thanks to that. Transparent gray color. Dash. The phone is now cooped with a 3,700 milliampere battery compared to its older brother with only 3,300 milliampere. We have the signature red and white OnePlus USB Type-C cable. This is the Type-C to 3.5 millimeter jack since the OnePlus 6T does not have a headphone jack. OnePlus have put some seriously premium features into this. So I think the pluses that have gone into the OnePlus far outweigh the negativities coming through it, such as this. People are moving on, guys. Move on. Move on with OnePlus. Get yourself some wireless headphones. Here it is, the OnePlus 6T. They only released two colors at launch, and that is the Midnight Black, which is this matte finish, and the Mirror Black, which is the glossy finish. Midnight Black, it looks, it actually looks a bit metal, even though it's this glass back, no wireless charging, OnePlus, come on, what are you doing? Xiaomi did it with their Mix 2S and their Mix 3, and it costs the same price, what are you doing? They didn't do the under display fingerprint sensor. They didn't do that. So that's where the money went into, huh? I wonder if people would have preferred wireless charging or this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is that S shimmer? Here's the back of the phone. It's really nice and clean without that fingerprint cutout over here. We have a 6.41 inch AMOLED display. We've got a teardrop notch here, which I'll show you guys in a moment. We got a slimmer chin here, so they've reduced that from the six. So if you want a more immersive feel without that big chunky cutout and, and you want a smaller chin, then definitely the 6T is the one for you compared to the six. If we take a look at the right of the phone here, there's the power button there. Thank goodness they've actually kept their mute and vibrate button slide over here. But then at the top, Nice and clean, just these tiny little antenna lines. We've got the, the volume rockers here, and we've got the, the SIM tray here. No micro SD card support. And then at the bottom, we have the speaker grills and the USB Type-C port. Let's turn this guy on for you guys. Face data. Now this is super quick. Let me add this in for you. Ooh, fingerprint sensor. Okay, so every time you replace the screen protector, you got to redo your fingerprint sensor. That, that's pretty cool to see. It means that they've actually adapted their fingerprint sensor to correlate with different screen protectors. Fingerprint added. You ready? Bam. Let's put it a little bit off. I put my finger slightly off. It's not happy with that. But right on there, I guess once you know exactly where the sensor is, 
this is quick. This is this is pretty quick, guys. This is the quickest one I've used. If I pull out my Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 over here, this fingerprint sensor is, is blitz fast on the back, of course. So let's see. One, two, three. I don't know, that seems pretty similar to me guys. Let's go again, we find them. Okay, show me it's slightly quicker there, one more time. Slightly quicker, so you're gonna lose the speed of this guy, but you're gonna gain some serious smiles from this guy. Tech is going this way guys, tech is going this way. Get on the train, get on it. Let's test out the face daughter real quick. That is mad quick. Let's take a look at this cover. It doesn't look too bad. Look, it picks up some fingerprint smudges. Actually, quite a few of them. I I'm gonna get a fabric one. But it's not too bad, guys. I mean, if you need to pop it in something for a week until you get your, your better cover, it looks a lot better than what I've seen before. So talking about the screen, we actually have this teardrop-like notch similar to the Oppo R17. But I actually kind of like this float. Looks pretty neat. Let me know what you guys think about this, this notch implementation. So there you have it guys, the OnePlus 6T. Bigger screen, bigger battery, slightly bigger build, no headphone jack, same colors, same price, bigger storage. What's your take? What about this guy? Under display fingerprint sensor, that works great for a change. My first OnePlus phone, let me know if you guys think this should be my daily driver. I'm currently still on the Galaxy Note 9. Nothing has swayed me yet so far. I have this, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. I have the Honor Magic 2 coming in tomorrow. What's your take, guys? All phones, same price. What's your pick? Seriously, though, that headphone jack thing, you guys got to cut that shit right out. But if you don't want to move on and you really miss the headphone jack that much, I want to share something with you guys. Like I said, I've got a bit of an Easter egg here. The Bullets version 2 wired USB type C headphones. Yes, no 3.5 millimeter jack cord. Never said, oh, look at that. That is epic. $20. $20 for great USB type C headphones. These are probably the best, cheapest in ear wired type C earphones you can actually buy right now. Neatly stuffed in that little box. You hear that guys, never settle on no headphone jack. Or settle and get these. Quality, you know, like, there they are. Wow, there's that like m premium metal touch to them. Okay, now this is actually a flat anti-tangle cord, by the way, so that's cool. Type C, no need for the jack. This is a type C end over here. You just put this right into the phone and unlock the speed of what is OnePlus. Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy the phone. Subscribe to my channel down below. My review should be popping around in the next week or two. Till next time, guys. This is Technic.